It is not the kind of wake up call anybody wants, but it's the one a family in Lorraine County got this morning when a car slammed into their home. Thanks for watching us here on this Friday night. I'm Damon Maloney. Hello everybody, I'm Tracy Carlos. Troopers say the driver died and speed and alcohol were likely factors. It happened along West Ridge Road in Elyria Township where you can see from this map that there's a bend in the road. As News 5 reporter Clay Lepard learned today, the homeowners say it's been a problem for years. At first glance, the tire tracks in the grass and the cracks in the wall in the house don't really stand out. But as these photos show, what happened to the Bouse family Friday morning is something they'll never forget. There's a couch in there somewhere underneath what was much of Linda and Brian Bowes' fireplace. The whole entire chimney is, is ready to cave. The result of a startling sound that woke up the couple. About 1.10 in the morning, we heard like an explosion. I came down, saw this in here, and thought the gas fireplace had blown up. Instead, they learned this car caused all that damage. Investigators say the driver of the sedan, a 46-year-old woman, was not wearing a seatbelt. It appears she was speeding and may have been drinking before the crash. A crash that ended with her car leaning on this house and her muffler on the roof. Parts of her car on the second story and in my living room. Even more troubling, given wife Linda had just been on that couch in the living room 15 minutes earlier. Blew my entire fireplace out. Something needs to be done. It's a frustration this couple knows well along this 50 miles per hour speed limit road. This is how it ends up when you're going too fast. Saying it's the third time their house has either been hit or part of a crash has ended up on their property. We have had so many cars go off the road. Our mailboxes, we had to move them off of the right of way because they always ended up getting taken down. Now they're hoping their wake up call rings loud enough for others to hear. They need some kind of sign before the curb with a flashing light. They've got to do something. Well, the Bows family waits for repairs and some sort of safety change. There is some hope hidden under this debris. I was very thankful that uh, I still got my family. Be it a street light, a guardrail, warning signs, or possibly something else, the Lorain County Engineer's Office tells News 5 they plan to look at this crash report to see if any changes should possibly be made along this roadway. In Elyria Township, Clay Lepard, News 5. And we are now in the time period known as the 100 deadliest days of summer. That's through Memorial Day through Labor Day when a third of all deadly crashes happen. So the Ohio State Highway Patrol is reminding all of us to buckle up, stay focused behind the wheel and drive sober. Last year during this time, there were more than 67,000 crashes on Ohio's roads and nearly 400 people died.